So once we have our paper set up and our banner, ribbon banner with our names and of our island and also our compass rose with the correct coordinate locations and again, our organic shape island, everything is either Sharpie or dark marker outlined. We're gonna start thinking about our geographic land features and some terms from the packet. You can see I've made some mountains, a volcano, maybe a river, and I'm going to do some dunes. Now to personalize these and name them from our teacher's example, Painter's Peak and Watercolor Falls, I'm going to start maybe with these mountains. And I'm a mom, and these are my mom's mountain range. They don't always have to have the same letters. This volcano, I will call, oh, I love hot sauce and hot wings. I'm gonna call it hot sauce volcano. And a river that flows down, you can start to think of words that use the same letter, or you can also start to think about things in your life, your activities, your family, and your friends. Once we Sharpie outline all of our names of our geographic land features, and also the words, we can start illustrative coloring. Now I'm going to use colored pencils, but you can also use crayons. And I'm, we're going to just, like the teacher's example, color a suggestive painterly style. So I don't wanna lose the quality of this tea or coffee stain paper. So I'm just going to lightly use the colored pencils around the edges of things, and I can use the long edge of the colored pencil or the crayon as well to get a deeper and thicker line. And maybe I bring a different color blue or even a green or a teal out into that ocean, and then I go lighter and lighter all the way around, but it's important not to lose the staining of your paper. So for my ocean, I'm going to just lightly color the cool colors in my palette. And then for some of the features, maybe some yellows and some browns, For my dunes, I want to keep just a suggestive use of colors. And then for my island, maybe I want to have some green grass on certain areas, but it's just a suggestive use of colors. I'm not coloring the entire area. I would just be coloring certain parts of my features and of my mountains and my land. So not everything is colored as you can see. And I'm gonna, oh, in those hot, that hot sauce mountain, Definitely going to have some red hot sauce that comes out of these geofactric land features, but is not completely colored all over the island. 